Question 2. Amy chooses two of these cards. 11, 23, 33 and 43. She adds the numbers on her two cards together. She rounds the result to the nearest 10. Her answer is 60. Which two cards did she choose? Now I think it goes without saying here that you have actually got to, in these two boxes, write two of these numbers. If you write anything other than two of these numbers, you're going to automatically get it wrong. And I have seen people do that before, put their own two numbers in there. It's got to be from these four. And we're trying to round to the nearest 10 and get, end up with 60. So, easiest way to do this is just to pick some numbers that you think it might be, add them together, round it to nearest 10 and see if you get 60. And sooner or later, you're going to get the right answer. So, for example, let's just test 11 and 43. Now, there's no guarantee that you're going to get the right answer straight away. So, 1 and 3 is 4. 1 and 4 is 5. Now, that's 54. And 54 rounds to 50 to the nearest 10. So, it can't be 11 and 43. Let's try another one. Let's try 23 and 43. 3 and 3 is 6. 2 and 4 is 6. Now 66, because 6 units is higher than 5, that's more than halfway. So that's going to make the 6 round up to 70. So that would actually round up to 70. So I've still not got it. I can probably see that 33 and 43 is going to be too big, because 30 and 40 is straight away 70. So it's going to be this one's going to be over 70, and that's not going to round to 60. So what else haven't I tried? So I haven't tried 23 and 33. 23 and 33. 3 and 3 is 6. 2 and 3 is 5. And 56. Well, 6 units is higher than halfway. Higher than 5. So that's going to make the 5 tens round up to 6 tens. So 56 rounds to 60. And before too long, we've actually got our answer. We're trying to round and make 60. So the two numbers that I've used to get that is 23 and 33.